Russia and China agree over new reality, Kremlin. The so-called golden billion can't dictate terms to other countries anymore, Dmitry Peskov says. Russia and China share the understanding that a unipolar world has become impossible and that a new reality is coming, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov has said. We believe, in unison with our Chinese comrades, that the existence of a unipolar world is impossible, Peskov told journalists on Tuesday. Moscow and Beijing agree that it's an impossible situation when the so-called golden billion is claiming the right to invent rules in economy, in politics and the right to impose its will on other countries, he noted. In the Russian-speaking world the term golden billion often refers to the wealthy populations of the US, EU and other Western nations. The foundation of the unipolar system has started to seriously creak and wobble. A new reality is emerging, the Kremlin spokesman pointed out. Peskov echoed the words of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who said in late August that the obsolete unipolar model is being superseded by a new world order based on the fundamental principles of justice, equality, and the recognition of the right of each nation and state to its sovereign path of development. According to the Russian leader, strong political and economic centers acting as a driving force of this irreversible process are being shaped in the Asia-Pacific region. Putin and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping are expected to hold a meeting later this week on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, summit in Uzbekistan. It's going to be Xi's first trip outside China since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. When asked about the upcoming talks on Monday, White House spokeswoman Karine Jean-Pierre reminded that the U.S. has made clear our concerns about the depth of China's alignment and ties with Russia, even as Russia prosecutes a war of aggression in Ukraine. Back in June, Putin and Xi described relations between Russia and China as being at an unprecedentedly high level and are constantly improving, according to the Kremlin. Beijing refused to join the international sanctions imposed on Moscow over its military operation in Ukraine. Instead, the two countries boosted cooperation and trade, with Russia becoming the top supplier of oil to China, among other things.